There's no doubt we would have loved to have had a complete thumbs up, you know, start this afternoon uh, kind of kind of ruling. But we're we're pleased because there is no doubt on every aspect of the ruling that relates directly to the construction of the student athlete high performance center. She ruled in the university's favor. Uh, so the the our ability to move forward, she's given us a clear pathway, a clear roadmap to the things that we need to do to move forward with the construction and. The, the building's becoming a reality. The beauty of the judge's ruling and why we're so encouraged is that all of the aspects of the Student Athlete High Performance Center, the judge ruled in our favor. She ruled that the, there is no fault line under the, in the footprint of the Student Athlete High Performance Center. Therefore, we may build it as we've designed it and right where we've uh, proposed putting it. Uh, she ruled that the Student Athlete High Performance Center uh, is indeed a separate structure from, uh, from the stadium itself. Uh, all of her rulings related to our ability to construct that facility on that site, uh, she ruled in our favor. Obviously, time is, is the issue here. What's happened in the last 18 months has been delay. Every day that's gone by is a day that our student athletes, delays our student athletes getting into to safe and quality conditions. So in order to, to expeditiously move forward when we could, we've been trying to anticipate what might be the problems. So we've been working on all of these things. The, the two issues that the judge has asked for clarity, that she's narrowed the issues down to, uh, we're prepared to very quickly provide her with that information which then in turn I think enables us to move forward with the project. It's really difficult to say what the what the timeline is going to look like from here. Clearly, a very complex uh, decision, a lot of issues, but she has she has narrowed them down, and we will be back in court very quickly to provide those answers uh, to her, which which she has provided us the roadmap uh, to be able to move this project forward. Well, you know, pe people can spin this any, any way they want. Um, nobody should have to take our word for it or the plaintiff's word for it. Uh, go read the decision. Uh, it's on. It's going to be on uh, berkeley.edu, calbarris.com. Um, I think it's pretty clear as you read through it that the judge has found for the defendant, found for the defendant, found for the defendant, um, and again, a few very narrow small issues that indeed we do have to address but we're we're going to be in court very quickly uh, to uh, to address those issues uh, we're going to take the roadmap that the the judge has provided for us to get this project underway and to to bring it back to to the central issue here uh, this has been a long time uh, coming uh, it's it's been a long time in the planning stage and I'm talking about the project itself and what I'm so happy about is that our student athletes and our coaches and our programs across the board this project this building that is going to be transformational for our athletic department is uh, is becoming a reality well uh, as we've talked about I think this is a win uh, for the project it's a win for our student athletes I talked to a number of our coaches last night I've talked to some of our student athletes uh, in the hallways this morning and and it's exactly that it's it's you know steps closer to our ability to get this project underway and then ultimately get our student athletes into, uh, into those high quality and safe training conditions that have, have been the purpose of the project from the first place.